So, how do the aviators keep their wits about them and their reflexes sharp? Philip Gorm has been to meet one flyer who goes to extreme lengths to keep in peak fitness. Here's tonight's Meridian Report. Military jets, airliners, vintage warbirds. Phil O'Dell has flown the lot. Each aircraft requires different flying skills, but all of them require a pilot who's alert. That's why Phil spends a lot of his spare time flying aerobatic aircraft. It keeps me moving, it keeps my feet, my arms, my brain um, coordinating, so it's very, very good for, for the other types of flying I, uh, I do. To come back to basics and fly an aeroplane like this that keeps, uh, keeps me working, keeps me coordinating and keeps me thinking um, is a very good way of day-to-day -day keeping my currency going. Phil and his teammates fly many air displays each year. They also give aerobatic lessons. Push the stick over to the left-hand side or right-hand side, whichever you'd rather do. Okay. You have control. They're always on the lookout for ways of improving their performance. We have good displays that we're very happy with, not dangerous, but we also have um, displays where we don't feel we're at our peak performance and we're looking at how we can modify that and how we can build up okay and how we can use yes. a sports science team to, to get us and keep us at that, that peak of, of performance, both physically and, and mentally. Phil works with Stuart Rawlinson at the University of Brighton campus in Eastbourne. I've been looking at a pilot specific reaction time um, under the effects of general and aerobatic flight um, and also under the effects of a, a stimulant drink um, because there's lots of products in the market that say we that say you will it will improve performance but it's never been tested on pilots. Fatigue is a real problem. When I'm driving along the, uh, the M20 in Kent, you know, and it's uh, uh, dark outside, I've been working a long time, yeah, I feel sleepy. Well, why doesn't that happen to, uh, to pilots? I mean, they can't pull over and stop, can they? No, but what you do is in the, in the build-up to a flight, you're very careful about uh, the rests you take and the naps you take, etc. And what the airlines will do on the uh, longer sectors where they are particularly exposed to that sort of uh, under-arousal and sleepiness and a disruption of, uh, of, of sleep patterns is they'll take a spare crew. On the longer flights, they'll take a complete replacement crew that uh, ensures that one crew can go and sleep, refresh themselves, whilst the other crews are at, uh, at the controls. But the British Pilots Union Balper 